Hello, I'm going to show you today how to create pressure part um, components for your pressure pipe system. We're going to create a valve and we're going to create a fire hydrant. Um, there's three main things that you need in creating these pressure parts. You need a, a solid, so in this case I have a solid, just the valve, everything's a solid. You also need a line, an AutoCAD line. So if I change this to a 2D wireframe, I've placed in a line here. That's going to be for our flows. And then we also need an AutoCAD connection point. So the three things. You can find your connection points on the Insert tab. Over to the far right under Connection Point panel, just on the Insert. So those are the three things that you need. And this is going to be done in a two-part two process. We're going to create our component, our content file first, and then we're going to open up uh, the content catalog editor and import those into that content catalog editor. Okay. So to do that, so we've got our three things, um, two things so far. We've got our solid, we've got our line. I want to add in a connection point. So I'm going to insert this connection point. It's going to ask me to select my object. And that's going to be any part of this solid. Then it's going to ask me where do I want this insertion point. I'm going to snap down here to the end point or the center of this um, valve diameter. Uh, either way, I'm just going to go to the end point. And then it's going to ask me to pick two directions. And I kind of like to think of this as flow direction or pipe to and from direction. So I'm going to come over to this side and then over to this side. Okay. We can add engineering data if we want to. I'm going to choose no. and it adds that in. There's our connection point to our solid. We want to have two connection points in this case, so I'm going to put one on the opposite side. So insert, choose our solid. We want to put it over here, and then I want to add those two points. No connection data again. And those connection points are found. Okay. So now I have the three things that I need to create that content file. I've got my solid, I've got my line, I have my connection points. So the key in command, and I would do a hotkey if I were you, just put something in your PGP file, but it's publish part content. Okay. And maybe do a, a quick key, a PPC or something. So publish part content. Okay. It's going to ask me to select the solid. That's all I need to do is select the solid. It's going to temporarily go away. It's going to create kind of a, a hidden layer uh, for temporarily, and then it lets me select this line. Once I select this line, it comes back. Okay. Ask me to specify the measuring unit. I'm going to go inches. And then specify the part type. Uh, you've got a whole bunch of different options down here. Ca cap, coupling, cross, elbow, hydrant, all this. I'm going to choose valve. It's going to create what Autodesk uses is a content file. Um, we're going to use this in the content catalog editor to get that into our parts list. Uh, so I'm just going to save this. I'm just going to throw it on my desktop and we'll call it uh, Valve. And hit save. So basically what that does is it zips it up. It's got the solid. It's got the connection points. It's got an XML file. It's got a few other things that... Uh, it saves out there in a content file. Okay. I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to switch over to another drawing, this hydrant. 